Actually, I still collect stickers. I put them all over the file cabinet at the radio station. Nice. This is my epic sticker collection from my childhood. Or at least the best book, I think. Of course, highlight Care Bear sticker. I think I was proudest of that one. I remember thinking that was pretty cool. I like the bat. And it still moves. Well, again? Quality stickers there. Oh, that's neat. See, oh, Garfield and Smurfs. I remember these ones. Oh, yeah, really they had those. Some of these actually still smell. Oh, bunnies. There's some bunnies. And unicorns, of course. Cabbage, more cabbage patch. Oh, fuzzy bunnies. Oh, fuzzy caterpillar. Spongy heart. Oh, oh another. Oh, spongy, spongy stuff. Those are kind of appalling. <laughs> Is it they still like have held up over time? Oh, wait. I don't know. I just don't like okay. to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, another one. Oh, that one works good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, Lisa Frank has to be. Lots of food. <laughs> oh, in the candy and food section even. This reminds me of uh, Candyland. Oh, I remember I liked these guys. I can't tell what they say. I'm extravagant, I'm angry, I'm sexy, I'm a superstar, I'm worried, and I'm penniless. Oh, bunnies and lemonade. Wait. Oh my god, it still smells like lemons. Shit. Oh yeah, it does. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> Indestructible nature of stickers. <laughs> Proven. <laughs> diet, diet, diet. Great. If I was any lazier, I'd slip into a coma. Appropriate. I'm ornery. I'm, not, I'm innocent, I'm sad, and I'm happy. That's about it, yeah. That's about the, the statement of life. Let's see some of the other books. Okay, oh. Pac-Man. Testament to my other obsession as a kid. Oh, more Smurfs. Oof, uh, I'm getting some... some they're all scented. Scratch and sniff. Whiff for, well, they're all mixed at this point. That was not a good choice in, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> oh, pizza. I, how much you want to bet I can get something out of this one? Oh, I bet. A little bit. A little bit. You can probably smell mm. exactly like it smelled. Yeah. It was a heavy whiff of oregano. It I was, yeah. Okay, I'm going for it. Oh, yeah, it's pleasant. Which one? Jelly bean. Oh, yeah, that is nice. I remember this one was good. Oh, and it's still good. How old are these? <laughs> like, that's amazing. Um, 80s? Uh, I guess they have to be, right? <coughs> oh, bacon. I bet this one's not good. Can't smell that at all. It's I bet you this is one of my first sticker books because it's not as organized as the others. Lots of arcade stickers, so I was definitely into the arcade stuff at the time. I remember liking these guys. Oh, I remember those ones. Mm, still get some chocolate chip out of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you can see what I did this all the time, why I'm a foodie to this day. And can't smell the chicken. Can't smell the chicken. Okay, let's see. Well, even have some unused stickers in here. See, even then I was saving the bees. <laughs> I 
see this guy. Oh, Koala. Oh, I remember I really liked these, this set. I think these are from the same set. Oh, and this one too, all from the same one. <laughs> I'm sensing a food theme. Well, they're probably all scratch and sniff. Oh, that's so cute. That looks cute. like Gregory. Yeah, I really like the, these. These, this set a lot. Cinnamon buns. I got one of those ones, the lips with the words. Oh, yeah. Smack, that must have been a Valentine set. Mm, more bunnies. Oh, I like that. Oh, that must have come with this. Simple pleasures. I remember those ones. Oh That's yeah. Definitely scratch and sniff. Oh yeah. Let's see. Oregano again, I bet. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that was actually better than the other one. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, they're all good. <laughs> yeah. How do you? I don't know what that's gonna. Smell raspberry, like. raspberry, oh, okay. a raspberry. I, I couldn't tell. Wait, let me just close. <laughs> what the hell is Papa Smurf doing? I guess doing? it's obvious. He's a raspberry sort of. What's that? <laughs> is Papa Smurf getting high? He sure looks <laughs> like he's, uh, he's experimenting. Under the of something. Yeah, he's experimenting. Let's see. Is it Smurf root beer or something? Oh, he's scratching snippets. It's it's like uh, it is kind of like root beer actually. I don't know if I want to smell What the hell is the skunk going to smell? I bet the skunk actually smells like skunk. Let's try the soap. Oh, he does smell like soap. That one actually I remember smells like new shoes or a new car. But I, I'm not. I want to. <laughs> I kind of have to, you know. Anything? It's not an unpleasant smell, but it doesn't smell like. I don't know, I got a oregano on my finger now. Yeah, I don't know what it smells like. <laughs> I was like, is it really gonna smell nasty? <gasps> popcorn! I was waiting for a popcorn. Yeah, those were always the best. Mm. Ah, damn it. I probably scratched it to death back in the day. <laughs> I remember like this one. It smells like, uh, you know, like air freshener. Ooh, coffee. God, they still make, they don't make these like they used to. I don't know. They're not fun like this. Well, I gotta try the fall one. Mm, it smells spicy, kind of like, definitely fallish. I don't know what to call it. Leafish, I actually. actually. Hot dog, I guess. I... <laughs> <laughs> that one was vaguely mustardy, I guess. Maple. Yeah, that's good. You got me curious. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, it's almost like the oregano, really, but it's kind of like relishy mustard. Yeah. Let's see if Garfield gives us some popcorn. Nope. See, I probably wore these popcorn ones out. This is only caramel. A little, yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Baby glurfs. <laughs> What the fuck is a glurf? Eh, I don't know. I snuck some fuzzy bears in there too. I remember like fuzzy ones like that. Place the water here. <laughs> yeah, we're looking. I see some repeats now. I don't think I could leave anything on the sticker page. So I had to... That's like your saving stickers. Oh! Muppets. This was... No, this was a book cover. Photographer at large. And I took pictures of birds when I was a kid, too. That's funny. Bunnies. I think, like, a lot of these came from when we got stickers on papers and stuff. Except for probably not... Probably not these. 
I probably dressed this up with my own stuff now and me. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this looks like another something I put extra stickers on. Oh, award paper. So these were award stickers that I also kept because I, you know, very externally motivated and not internally so much. You know, that's the problem with adulthood is nobody gives you stickers. I know, and this is why I need a Fitbit again. I need that external motivation. I was just thinking about this today. Actually, that's a good idea. You should make like a sticker book for... Oh, oh bird stickers. Oh, well, I don't know. These were also, I think, award stickers now that I'm looking at them. Very casino-appropriate stickers for child. More Garfield. Oh, oh, he's not a sticker. Oh, that these are cool. Okay, these are all different. Mm. This is when I... These are a bunch of, like, single sticker buys. Like these guys. That was always exciting. Just get a pile of them. I agree. Yeah, I liked him. Like a oh, more unicorn, more bunnies, more fuzzy bears. No, they're not fuzzy. Those bastards. <laughs> I like the cat. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's some good cats. I, oh, I thought that's what I love oats. I'm like, ah. I don't know if cats like oats, but. These ones are cute. Oh, here's some, here's some good ones. It's probably a sniff, a scratch. Yeah, it's that. definitely, it's it like says scratch and scratch on it. Popcorn. Oh, still on a quest for popcorn here. Uh, I got, you know, not satisfying, but there was something there. I'm not even going to try it. I'm not going to yeah, waste it. Yeah. I'm not going to waste the sniff. Martini. You know, kids should be sniffing martinis. Oh, oh I like these. Classy captions. <laughs> Not always on theme, but you know, I tried. How did you start with stickers? Like you have a lot of stickers. <sighs> I do have a lot of stickers. I don't remember. This one. I actually don't remember how I got started. Did I not look at this one already? I thought I'd open this one. Oh, she's definitely not. Whoa. Does it smell? There. Oh yeah, it smells exactly like it. Yep, definitely very gingerbready. Oh yeah, that one's nice. I probably didn't scratch these ones as much. These are later it's editions. Like special. That's kind of like lemon pledgy. Oh, you brought me this tonight. Yeah, I did. And it's minty. Oh, more fun ones. Oh, this was a scene. You got Ooh, to put something. You, you got I to got put a whiff of too much of something over there. You got uh, um probably the dill pickle. Uh, you got to put together the scene. Like so, this didn't come. This was like, this is original me. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I gotta smell the pickle one. <laughs> Oh yeah, it smells like pickle. <laughs> Damn light. <laughs> mm, birthday cake is good. Although I am getting a whiff of dill there. That's what I hit. It'll happen again. Ooh, jelly beans are very pleasant. Oh yeah, I like that one. That one. Oh, Chanel <laughs> number five. And another popcorn. Still on the quest. Oh, you try it. Oh, wait, you got a kind of a whiffle one. Yeah, go go for it. I'm going to go on the edge. It seems like maybe that's the last scratch. No. 
Not at all. <laughs> There's something, but nothing is in small pot then. I wonder if, oh, I bet the mouth smells like cheese. These are, this is scratch and sniff consistency. Oh, it's, yeah. Stinky cheese, for sure. The, I was wondering if that was like a, uh, would it, it wouldn't be a copyright violation, but like a trademark no, it's, violation. No, it's just some kind of I don't want to cologne. <laughs> Go play yogurt. That's funny. Leather saddle. I wish you had a maple leaf that smelled like maple. That'd be good. Toothpaste, more some more stinky cheese. These are awesome. <laughs> Gotta go for the yogurt. I might have to try the horse too. Mm, yogurt's nice. Yes, leather. I gotta try that one. Oh yeah, that's nice. You scratches of unicorn. I think I made these myself. Oh, there we go. Some original DIY. The bunnies too. Yeah, and you cut, you stamped them on paper, and then you cut around them. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Still peaches. I guess not. Mm, yeah. These are called Mellow Smellows. That's nice. It's kind of like violets, maybe. I guess I want to know what a unicorn smells like. So. <laughs> it's flowers. So. I guess oh yeah, that is violet. Thought this the unicorns would smell like flowers. Strawberry shortcake. Another homemade. Another homemade. Oh. Nice kitty one. Busters. I like that rabbit. Yeah. That goes along well with the thing I stole earlier. <laughs> Just this. Back off, I'm a scientist. Well, are you? <laughs> Digby! We had a dog like this in the family named Digby. Are they cherry? Yeah. I don't know if they're scratching stuff now. Oh. We have a caterpillar, oh, beetle bug in the family. It looks very much like this. Oh. Yep. Back sticker too. What ages did you collect stickers? You know, uh, I, I remember that one. I don't really remember when this started. Like I said, I didn't remember how it started. People probably started giving them to me, and or maybe somebody gave me a sticker book. That's you know, and then I just started, and I was an obsessive collector. I collected baseball cards, coins, stamps, uh, pins, patches, like rocks, like all kinds of. Sh uh, what's on the wall back there? Shot glasses. <laughs> so I've collected stuff. Now I mostly collect books, but uh, I still pick up stickers. Actually, I still collect stickers. I put them all over the file cabinet at the radio station. Nice. Every time I see one, I'm like slapping it That's up my there. Sticker, sticker collection. So I'm still, uh, still collecting, I guess, but just no more albums. Um, here's some slap togethers. Not very really themed, but I just probably, I got great joy from filling I, pages. Even your slap together is like, that's pretty organized. Like that's how old are you when you were collecting? Like what? Well, range? if I was in the eight, if it was in the eighties, I would have been, you know, probably anywhere between, I don't know, let's say ten and or nine, maybe and and twelve. I don't really know. I oh these ones, God, I probably have Wait, a ton these of. These are your favorites. Or well, this, this is it just, I was oh, just, they just say that. Oh, I can't pick out favorites. These, no, no, these, they just say that. <laughs> say that again. I can't pick out favorites. It's like your kids. Uh, so, no, these ones were awesome. I loved these because they made fun of products. They were satire. You don't know what you ate. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and I know there's, uh, 
there's more of those um, somewhere. Let me see. We've seen a lot of these already. Um, Tell me again how old you were when you were doing the stickers. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm not really sure here, but I'm thinking uh, I probably started in elementary with like taking stuff off of papers, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Like some of those ones throughout elementary school is probably how I did that. So maybe I started uh, maybe in sixth grade. I, I don't really know. Uh, actually, sixth grade, I know I was into baseball cards, so maybe the stick these stickers were earlier. It's hard to say. Um, okay, so this is the pile of ones we already looked at, right? Yeah, yeah. And so these are the ones we haven't looked at yet. Yeah, plus I found this treasure trove of unused, unused that I think I, I have to admit, stickers. I think I bought these when I was in my 20s. Kind of as a little regression period where I'm like, oh, I have money. I'm I'm going to buy a bunch of stickers. Fair enough. Uh, they do look a little more modern. I yeah. Guess. So this is a good album that we we didn't get to look at earlier. More, I like the scene idea here. What was the appeal of stickers? Uh, I think it was a controlled thing. <laughs> controlled thing. It was also like, yeah, I, very tact. You know, I, I stroke my beard a lot, so, <laughs> and I'm very organized and OCD-ish, so I think peeling the stickers off and organizing them in a way I liked appealed to that side of me. Um, oh my god. Wait, who are, oh, that's Michael Jackson. Yeah, and there is a, May he rest in peace. there's a white um, glove in here somewhere with sparklies on it that we haven't seen yet. Another little bunny, bunny scene. More vegetation. Is this like another, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing that maybe this book came with some stickers to use for each page because you know oh wait no that's an actual scene sticker okay got okay got it oh so yeah this this book I obviously really was digging the space for the scenes so I even used it down here now oh a little bunny bunny cowboy I like the vegetables yeah Right now. <laughs> All of you. See, even pigs are clean. Shouldn't judge. Appropriate for the holiday. Bunny. It's a cute one. Okay. Here is a shopping list. I was very serious about my collecting, so I liked complete collections. So, what are, are the color codes something? Um, I'm gonna say everything that's filled in is, I just got. So the color doesn't really Color mean. doesn't mean anything. If it's not filled in, I didn't, uh, you either didn't. You almost all of them. I know, I tried really hard. I, I enjoyed complete collections, and I enjoyed lists. So, yeah, so have that. I'm thinking this is an early effort here, uh, just because of its it's very down home, and I'm taping stickers in that I obviously peeled off of other things, otherwise they would have stuck. So this is probably a very early sticker album, or and as you can see, I was into the sports collecting. So, you know, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years old, maybe eleven. Really, not sure. But that was over the course of many years. I think so. Then. Like, we were looking at many years. Oh, there's the Hungry Man. Oh, yeah. The Swan Song. Oh, there's faces in the food. Nice. <laughs> A lot of detail in these satire stickers. Did you make that little book with you, think? Yes. Oh, yes. That's my handwriting for sure. It, you know, I had to label it just so, you know, you, if you weren't sure what it was for. We don't even have a count yet of how many of these there are. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my god, the Jets. What was I thinking? Ketchup. Binds. Nice. That's how they got 
Oh, cute squirrel. Do you feel like Whale. you stopped with stickers at some point in your life, or did you continually? <laughs> well, I, I would have said that I stopped, but then I recalled that lately I've been picking up any kind of sticker I can get my hands on, like, you know, bumper stickers, yeah. band stickers. I was just going to ask if you could remember when you and stopped actively well, collecting. Or maybe I think I've just, like, it's, you know, it's been an changed. off and off and on again type of thing. Uh, like, I diverted for a while to postcards. But tragically, I lost most of my postcard collection. Um, and now I'm kind of back to music and books. My Probably my first, uh, my main items of choice at this point in life, but I do put the stickers on the file cabinet at the radio station. So that's my kind of my current You have oh, to send me some pictures to include. Fairy tales Everybody and cars. Those are new new themes. Oh another fuzzy bear. Did you like do stickers through high school? Oh well, these are scratch and stiff, all the three of these. Cool. Did like did you do scratch like did you do stickers in high school? <laughs> Um, I don't think so. The big bunny bird. I was playing sports and having lots of weird feelings <laughs> to get through in high school. <laughs> but I, I, I don't think I, I did collected these anymore. So I guess it kind of just gradually maybe. I was really into away. really into music in high school, so I collected a lot of records. That was kind of my focus in high school. Oh, we're on the last one. Oh. This is a good one, though. Actually, I don't know if you like it. Oh, Cheshire okay. Cat starts us off. I just like this one. Nice. There's a good texture to him. Oh, Ghostbusters and Gremlins. So you can see a lot of pop culture. Yeah, definitely. In here, too. So that would actually be helpful. To look up when these things oh, were popular. We could like figure it out based yeah, like, on how old Michael oh, look Jackson at, was. Look at this stickers. little guy from Fraggle Rock. Oh my god. I forgot about them. Um, yeah, so Fraggle Rock, Gremlins. We're probably talking mid-80s. There's the Michael Jackson glove I referenced earlier. That's a classy sticker there. Nice. Fancy cow. I think the style of stickers started to change a lot, and it was harder to find ones I liked. Like, it got really Lisa Frankie, and everything just looked really overproduced, and, you know, I just had things, certain things, certain styles, I guess, that I liked, and certain styles I didn't, and once it started getting too foo-foo, uh, I was just not interested anymore. Oh, look at the camel. Cabbage Patch, so another cu exactly. cultural... Oh my god, I'm smelling pizza all of a sudden, so you the, hugged your there has to be some oregano you. coming at us. Whew. Do you think you'll be more conscious about stickers after like kind of flipping through and paying <laughs> attention to the stickers for oh, a little while? Does it build, bring back? like? Your oh life? yeah, I love... I mean, I've thought about, like, should I give this collection to my nieces or, you know, do... It, it's, you know, that that's probably all I really thought about doing it, but I just can't, it's one of the things I just can't part with. Well, they're so little now, too, that... Yeah, they're too little to really appreciate it, Yeah, like maybe I would like to get them teens. into it. I would like to get well, them yeah, into it. Well, yeah, you should just get them stickers. Yeah, so... That's our... So this is, uh... Did we look at that one? What was that one? This one is a bunch of stickers that haven't gone into a Oh, these are thing like yet. fresh. Fresh vintage stickers here. Yeah. You know you wish you had this collection. <laughs> and ooh, See, whoa, 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 this is really fascinating that. to me. Like we did sticker books, but I used my stickers. Like I wrote letters and like I covered the envelopes with stickers and I put stickers like all through like letters that I wrote whenever I was a kid. I like, think I actually bought this at the thrift store um, because it's kind of half used. I think I bought this at the, th that's at the thrift store. Something I would probably buy. And like, I wanted to count these. how many uh, actual sticker books you had there. 
I feel it. Feel I have it. them all spread out. Like, get this though. Get, let's get these. Well, while you're tidying those and those and those, I am and then O's. I stop. <laughs> I got some work to do. I need to get another sticker book or find some room in these. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not actually one. 10, 11, 12. 12 yeah. sticker books, I believe is the count. Plus like the book cover. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then like the scrap. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the stuff's going to go in the new sticker book. Yes. Those are new stickers. Stickopotamus. Oh, no, they're, all, they're not all. Right. So, this has been uh, the one with more on Mel and the Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> and uh, we, we're tidying up. I'm going to show you real quick. This is the shot glass collection. Since we mentioned it, we'll do a little swipe. <laughs> to get through in high school. <laughs>